Good morning and welcome to day 12. Um, I'm sorry I didn't start the vlog before now. Um, it's completely because I got up slightly late and then I had to de-ice my car and that took about 45 minutes and then I was running so late that I just didn't have time to even think about starting the vlog. Um, but I'm at uni now. Um, so I have a moment to start the vlog. I've just had a coffee, warmed me through, thawed me out. Um, and I need to go to the print studio. I missed the only thing that I had to come in for today, the lecture, um, because of running late because of the ice in my car. But I did have other things to do in uni today. Um, so it's not a totally wasted journey. I mean, if I'd... If I didn't have any other things to do today, I wouldn't have come in at all. Um, but I do. I do have other things that I need to get done today. Um, before Thursday. And I thought if I leave it till tomorrow, that's way too late and it won't get sorted before Thursday. I'm hoping that I can speak to Pete in the print room to get some stuff organised. Um, and I can pay him for the emulsion and give him the image for Marie's screen that she's going to print with me. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty scary journey. Um, not because of like ice and stuff, like on the roads, I mean that is a risk, but more because of how many people don't bother to clear their cars properly. Now, I'm not going to lie, like, we don't get snow very often in this country, so people clearly don't know how to safely prepare their car after snowfall. And one of the things I noticed today was so many people had, like, cleared their windscreen like normal, cleared the rear, but not cleared the snow off the roof of their cars, which is so dangerous. Because imagine if you have to brake really suddenly, all of that snow that's on the roof of your car slides forward in front of your windscreen and you can't clear it like if it's like this thick of snow your windscreen wipers are not going to clear it off and then you can't like you can't see you won't even be able to safely pull over to clear it like by hand like it's just a disaster and so many people have died that way as well like that's the thing is it actually caused accidents and people still don't do it um and if that's not incentive enough, it also carries a fine, like a penalty fine if you're caught not clearing it. So, like, if de threat of death is not um, incentive enough, threat of being fined should be. Um, so it did actually kind of scare me how many people hadn't done that. Um, and to be honest, until the other day, I wouldn't have known to do it. Um, it was James who told me um, that if I was going to drive, I had to. Um, and when he explained the reason, it totally made sense. And now looking at everyone else's cars, I just can't understand why they wouldn't clear them. Um, it's totally, it's totally unknown to me. Um, but hey, I got here fine. I mean, I did have a bit of a mishap. The um, windscreen cleaning fluid froze in the pipes. Obviously not in the big container because it's like got like antifreeze in it it won't freeze until like minus 20 but in the pipes where it's a really thin amount that froze and then I couldn't clear my windscreen properly um, and obviously on the motorway all of that snow salt stuff that's been laid was spraying up everywhere um, making a right old mess um, and then I couldn't clear it because because the, cause the water fluid was frozen um, but hey not much I can do now. I'm here, I survived. Um, after getting out of the car again, I like sprayed the de-icer down the little firing things that are on the bonnet, like to try and like see if it will seep down and de-ice that. I also re-de-iced my windscreen and all the windows so that while I'm in here, God forbid, it wouldn't, it wouldn't get cold enough, but God forbid should it freeze again. I won't have to clear it again when I leave, but Actually, it was more to just like have a layer of something on there to just get rid of some of the the dirt. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make a move towards the print studio um, and start ticking off things from my list of things to do. Um, I won't be here very long, um, but I'm going to try and make the most of it because obviously I came all this way in the treacherous weather. Um, but yeah, I'm <laughs> just going to go and start my list of things to do now. So 
right, I'm back in the car. Um, I'm going home. Everything I needed to do at uni is done. Um, it all went well. Everything excellent. Um, so we are able to print on Friday. Um, it's going to be put on a screen. Mar Marie can print as well. Um, it's perfect. Um, yeah. Um, I was going to stay, but then I found out really that there's nothing I can do there. Everything I need to do is at home. Um, there's not much I can do at uni. So I've decided, even though it's really not worth the petrol that it cost me, that I would just make my way home and get some work done. I'm really glad that I went in today because Pete, who I needed to speak to about the printing and stuff, who needs to put it on a screen for me, isn't in tomorrow. So if I'd have just not come in and then gone in tomorrow before work, he wouldn't have been there. So it's really lucky that I did come in, um, regardless of everything. My windscreen washers are thawed, so I can rinse my windscreen of all of the crap that flies up from the road, which is fabulous. Um, uh, generally, that went well. Um, I feel good actually because I've actually left the house and done something, albeit all I did was come to uni, get a coffee, speak to Pete and then come home again. But it's better than nothing, it's better than nothing. Um, and I actually got up before 11 o'clock to be able to come here so that was also a plus. Um, I'm just gonna make my way home now though. Um, I'm in the car, obviously. Uh, gonna go home um, and then start on some other work. I'm actually gonna ring James now because, as you may or may not know, I don't know if I've mentioned it, my um, keyboard, the Bluetooth one that I use when I'm using my desktop setup, has actually but has actually water damaged. Um, I must have spilled something on it at some point, or maybe even when I cleaned it, I cleaned it with um, something that was too wet and it's caused some damage um, to the circuit um, in there. Um, so I can't, like, it's usable to a point, um, but it's just not convenient. And I wanna really start cracking down and writing my essay in the, in, today. Um, and it's not worth, I mean, I am gonna have to buy a new one at some point, but I don't wanna have to do it right now. Um, but James still has his old one from after he just replaced it. So I want to borrow that. And he has said that I can borrow it only temporarily. Um, and I would really love it if he's already got it out. Because he said he would get it out last night. But I guess he forgot and stuff. Which is okay. Not a problem. Um, I didn't really need it last night anyway. Um, but I do, I do need it. So I might ring him now just to ask for it, him to grab it for me so that I can start using that when I get home. Um, otherwise though, I'm just gonna drive and then I will catch up with you in a bit. Thank you. 
so guys, I just had a super hectic moment. Basically, um, Caroline wants to buy me a coat for my Christmas present, so I chose one. Um, unfortunately, the one I chose turned out to be super popular right now. Um, within a day of me choosing it, the size I wanted was gone off, um, off online. And then after that, the whole, all of the sizes in that colour were gone online. Um, and Caroline couldn't find it in her stores near her for New Look either. Um, and then we were just giving up hope and I was going to choose something else. And I thought, Do you know what? I want the one I chose because that was my favourite when I looked. And I already ruled out all of the similar ones when I chose it because I like this one the most. So I ran just now back to the New Look to speak to them on the off chance that they were getting it restocked or anything like that and they said we've just had an order come in this morning let me go and look if there's a size 14 in the colour you want and there was so after that Caroline sent me the money to buy it so that it's got we've got it and it won't be sold out again um, and then I thought I haven't brought my card with me and Apple Pay contactless payment is only £30. But no, they, they have, this is the most convenient part of the whole day. Is that they've just changed it from 30 to 50 And the coat was that much. So I could pay for it with my phone in the shop and then come back. And how great is that? I've sorted it. It's sorted. Um... Is staying in the bag because it's a Christmas present. Um, I just have to remember to take it with me on the on, when we go down, so Caroline can wrap it and give it to me for Christmas. Oh, that was a palaver, but it's sorted. Um, I was just thinking, oh my gosh, I'm such a nightmare. Like literally, first of all, it was a pain for me to actually reply as what I wanted for Christmas in the first place. And then when I did reply, the thing that I actually wanted is a nightmare to get hold of. I feel sorry for Caroline, if I'm honest, bless her. Um, but hey, got it now, it's sorted, no problems. Whew. <laughs> I just can't stop laughing about the whole situation. <laughs> so, guys, there has been an unfortunate turn of events. Um, and this is such that I have been asleep. Basically, since the last segment I, si I filmed. So basically, all evening and afternoon, I've been asleep. Um, <laughs> which is just so pathetic. Um, but because it's late now, I'm going to have to end the video. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be filming anymore tonight. Because um, there is nothing more to film. Um, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just can't believe it. That's just funny. Um, but hey, never mind. <laughs> um, I'm going to end the video here. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.